Hello, everyone. I would like to present you the work we have done in the paper, Energy Aware Partial Duplication Task Mapping on the Real Time and Reliability Constraints. Here, sorry, here is the outline of this presentation. I will start with a brief introduction of this work. Now that the multiple platform is commonly used and it causes more resource cost, therefore energy consumption has become an important concern, especially for the systems with limited energy budget. At the same time, high performance is needed to meet the quality requirement. In order to get the correct application intuition, the hard real-time constraints need to be guaranteed and the results should be correct. Due to the technology size reduction and the increasing uh, scaling of CMOS technology, it uh, becomes more susceptible for system exposed to some faults. So the system execution uh, is not always idle. The fault occurrence is generally characterized as to when the change in fault which cause a temporal impact. The other one is the hard ones which can cause a permanent impact. Since the change in fault, uh, faults happen more common in this work, uh, we focus on change in fault. The occurrence of change in fault is assumed to be independent to each other and therefore a broad distribution. The reliability of a task in execution is defined as the probability of executing a task without error. It is commonly uh, modeled as an exponential function of voltage scaling. In order to have reliable execution and enhance the system's reliability, fault tolerance should be applied where task verification is a popular method to tolerate faults by allocating replicas of each task on different uh, processes, uh, it is very unlikely that uh, all the replicas fail. This slide uh, gives the system model applied in task mapping. There are two main task models, independent and dependent. The in-time execution for time-critical tasks are required. That is, tasks must finish execution before the given deadline. Mainly two kinds of deadline are considered, global deadline and individual deadline. In the hardware domain, homogeneous and heterogeneous platforms are considered. With DVFX uh, technique, the multiple platforms uh, have been able to scale voltage and the frequency during the execution to achieve the trade-off between energy saving and uh, application execution quality uh, with limited energy supply. As a second part, uh, I would like to introduce some recent research. The existing work generally can be divided into two kinds according to the objective of the problems studied. The first one is to maximize the reliability of all tasks on the energy budget, real time, and reliability constraints. The second one is to uh, is the second sorry the second one is energy aware. Uh, the aim is to minimize the total energy consumption on the real time and reliability related constraints. In these problems, there are two main replication policies, full and a partial replication. The, idea, the main idea of a full replication decides the number of replicas, or in some publications, the limit of replication degree for each task. Few approaches apply partial replication by deciding which tasks are to be replicated instead of all tasks. Although some uh, approaches assign high frequencies to satisfy reliability requirements, but uh, it increases energy consumption. Also, full replication can lead to a large energy consumption due to the executing of several replicas of each task. On top, even with the high platform frequency, it may be impossible to satisfy the reliability constraints. 
Our work jointly considered the real time and reliability constraints by applying partial replication to a trade off between uh, energy conserving and uh, reliability enhancement. Now I introduce you what we have done in this paper. Based on all the above, in the design uh, space, uh, we need to carefully consider contradictory constraints and uh, decide task mapping based for tolerance to enhance the reliability as well as uh, minimize energy consumption. An energy aware partial duplication task mapping approach uh, is proposed by doing duplication of tasks uh, based on reliability metric. The problem is formulated as an MINLP problem and we safely and equivalently transform it into an uh, MILP problem. The optimal solution is uh, proposed uh, for the above problem. We assume that each core has a hardware error detection mechanism. During the process of mapping each task, we select a which core and a which frequency to execute the task on the mapping constraints. Uh, when the frequency is assigned, the reliability of this task is compared with its reliability requirement. If it satisfies the, the, the reliability requirement, then the mapping of this task is finished. If not, a duplication task is executed on a different code with the same frequency. For task mapping, we need to solve two problems, task allocation and frequency assignment. For task allocation, we assume that there is no task migration during its execution. Each task is allocated on only one processor. It's similar for frequency assignment that each task is assigned with a single frequency level. When scheduling tasks for the real-time applications, tasks should be executed before the given global deadline. When there are more than one tasks uh, are allocated on one processor, tasks execution uh, should not overlap each other. Therefore, non-overlapping constraints are applied uh, on each processor to avoid this uh, happening. Here is the explanation of the parameters and the variables uh, used in this work. In the right part, all the variables are binary. Here is the problem of formulation. The goal is to minimize the energy consumption on the constraints of a global deadline and the reliability requirement through task mapping with BVFS. Uh, because of the nonlinear combination of variables in, function, in objective function, the original problem is uh, formulated as an MILP problem. Through some mathematical method, we safely transform it into an MILP problem form. Uh, if you want more information of uh, mathematical details, uh, we suggest you may read the paper. Considering the overhead of uh, computational complexity, the parameters uh, used to verify our proposed approach are carefully chosen. We take a four processes into account with uh, six uh, frequency voltage levels. Uh, we get the information about the worst case exchange cycle according to the experimental results of some benchmarks. Also, uh, due to the problem size, the number of tasks cannot be too large. So we set it uh, from 10 to 30 with a step of 10. Uh, by Adjusting the value of k, we can range the value of a deadline from tight ones to more relaxed ones. In order to show how the reliability requirements influence the energy consumption, two groups of reliability thresholds are given, a low group and a high group. I will explain the evaluation of energy consumption and the solution feasibility first in the following. In the left figure, with the task number n increasing, more energy is consumed as expected. And 
with the K decreasing, which means that the deadline becomes uh, stricter. More energy is needed to meet real-time constraints since the higher frequencies must be assigned in order to meet the deadline. With K increasing, our proposed approach uh, has more time to execute a task applied uh, duplication with a lower frequency to minimize the energy consumption. The energy consumption keeps stable at some point, for example here, when K is equal to 1.6. And after this point, the energy consumption stays stable because the global optimal solution is obtained and deadline constraints do not influence energy consumption anymore. The right uh, figure explains the relation between percentage of duplication and deadline. When K is, is small, uh, deadline is tight, not much duplication is, is applied. When K incre increases, more time can be scheduled to duplicate more tasks with a lower uh, frequency. Similarly, after some point, the percentage of duplication uh, flattens out uh, since it obtains the global optimal solution. We also uh, compare the energy consumption when in low and high reliability threshold cases respectively. Uh, when K increases, that is the deadline uh, becomes worse, the energy consumption decreases in both two groups. This is similar explained uh, as that in the previous uh, slide. In high reliability threshold case, it uh, consumes more energy, especially in strict uh, deadline cases. In order to obtain the solution in high reliability threshold case, higher frequency will be assigned to execute tasks. That's why more energy is consumed compared to that in lower reliability threshold case. To explore the behavior of our proposed approach, we compare the performance of the proposed approach with two other task mapping approaches in recent research. The first one is FTM. It decides the allocation and the frequency of each task so as to meet the reliability and the real-time constraints without applying task duplication. And uh, the other one is uh, FDM. Uh, it uh, decides the allocation and frequency of each task so as to meet the real-time constraints and uh, always uh, apply task uh, duplication for each task uh, to, uh, to guarantee a safe reliability. We compare energy consumption and reliability improvement evaluation. For energy consumption, we can see that uh, the energy consumption decreases with K increasing, similar like what I have explained in the previous slides. Generally, the, the decreasing trend of our proposed approach and FTM is similar, and the energy consumption of FTM is higher than our proposed approach. This is because in FTM approach, high frequencies are chosen to execute tasks no duplication is applied to, to treat off the energy saving and the reliable uh, task execution like uh, what we did in our proposed approach. In FDM approach, energy consumption is much higher than both the other two approaches. When deadline is uh, not very loose, uh, more energy is needed to execute both the original tasks and the duplication with high frequencies. When deadline becomes loose, lower frequency can be assigned in order to save energy. When it becomes loose enough, our proposed approach and FDM almost consume the same energy. In this situation, our proposed approach and FDM almost work in the same way to obtain the solution. After some point of K, for example, K is equal to uh, 1.6, the energy consumption of all the three approaches are stay stable as, a, as we analyze above. To get the result uh, of a percentage of a feasible solution for each approach, we run the same code uh, 
on the same parameter 20 times. The right figure shows the success of obtaining solution. When deadline relaxing, more solutions are obtained for all three approaches. Uh, in general, our proposed approach achieves a better ability to obtain the solution uh, than the other two approaches, especially in strict deadline cases. FDM approach has uh, the, the worst uh, ability to get the optimal solution. Similarly, when K becomes large enough, then the real-time constraints uh, can be always satisfied, so all the three approaches can almost achieve 100% uh, uh, solution. We also compare we also compare the energy consumption when in low and high reliability threshold case seen in the left figure. When the deadline is very strict, the reliability improvement is good uh, uh, since high, high frequencies are applied for both our proposed approach and FDM. And in the strict deadline case, FDM is not able to find the solution. With K increasing, deadline becomes loose. FDM stays stable for reliability improvement. For our proposed approach, more time is available to the duplication, so the reliability improvement becomes better. For FDM, since uh, duplication is always applied uh, for each task, the reliability improvement is generally better than the other two approaches. When K is larger enough for our proposed approach and FDM, almost uh, behave the same since in our proposed approach where all tasks are able to be duplicated, which is like FDM. The right table shows the time required to obtain the solution. For all approaches, the stricter uh, is the deadline, the longer is the, the estimation time. To sum up, uh, in this work, uh, we studied the problem of uh, task mapping by jointly solving task allocation. Uh, task frequency assignment, uh, task duplication decision, and uh, sorry, task duplication decision on multiple architectures enhanced with uh, DVFS. The goal is to minimize uh, energy consumption without uh, violating the real time constraint and uh, taking into account the reliability. A safe transformation of the original nonlinear pro problem is applied to obtain an equivalent linear problem. One of the limitation uh, is that uh, the reliability after duplication of a task is not encoded. Another one is that uh, due to the complexity and the computation time, the optimal solution is uh, time consuming. As a direction of future work, there are some interesting points. The system model can be extended to dependent tasks, and each task has its own individual deadline. For replication policy, uh, duplication can be extended to several replicas for one task, and the degree of uh, replication for each task is to be decided. To achieve less uh, computation work and also keep near optimal solution, heuristic methods are also worth it, uh, to be considered. Uh, that's all of my representation. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me.